Hi, my name is Brian Bosch. I'm a level designer working on Planet's Eye 2. Planet's Eye 2 is an MMO FPS that's focused on the struggle between three unique empires vying for control over territory and resources on a distant alien world called Araxis. The first empire that we'll take a look at is the Terran Republic. These guys are a highly refined military machine. They've been in the oppression and police state business for a long time. Uh, you can tell by looking at their gear, it's got a very refined and well-polished appearance. For gameplay purposes, they fire very rapid fire weapons and put a lot of damage downstream very quickly. The first rebel empire to break away from the Terran Republic is the new conglomerate. Uh, these guys have a much more piecemeal and repurposed look to their gear. It's a lot more boxy. Uh, for gameplay purposes, they fire very a little bit slower, but they hit a lot harder. And the second empire to break away from the Terran Republic are the Vanu Sovereignty. These guys actually found alien technology on the world of Araxis and have incorporated that into their arsenal. As such, they'll fire energy weapons and use a higher level of technology on their vehicles uh, that the other two more conventional empires just don't have access to. Massive infantry combat. In Planetside, you are going to be faced in a bunch of different tactical situations, and to help you deal with that, we put together a bunch of different character classes for you to choose from. The first one we'll take a look at is the Infiltrator. These guys have a cloaking unit, which allows them to become invisible for a short period of time to get into position. They're also snipers, advanced hackers, and recon specialists. Very effective at harassing the enemy. Light Assault is the first shock trooper class we'll take a look at. These guys are very mobile, even though they have medium armor and medium damage weapons, they make up for it by having a short duration jump pack which allows them to get in really good tactical positions and flank the enemy. Heavy Assault is the main shock trooper of all three empires. These guys have a lot of armor and a lot of firepower. Their class specific ability is a shield that can absorb a lot of damage for a short period of time. They also can engage in enemy vehicles and enemy infantry. The Engineer is the first support class that we'll take a look at. Uh, these guys can put down defensive deployables to really shore up a position for defense. They also supply ammunition and can repair vehicles and max units. The combat medic is the cornerstone of any good squad. These guys can single target heal very quickly, do a slower heal but it's an AoE pulse so it heals the entire squad, and they can also revive fallen teammates. But as a combat medic they have a very effective weapon so they're very much in the fight. The last class we'll take a look at is the max unit. It's an iconic from the first game. These guys have very heavy armor and very heavy weapons. Uh, the trade-off is they're a little less versatile. You cannot pilot aircraft with a max unit. Okay, we'll scroll through a little bit quickly here and take a look at some of the customizations we have in the game. As you can see, you can go anything from serious, more hardcore look to something flat out silly. The key point here is that we want you to customize the game and play it exactly the way you want to play. A huge ass vehicle combat, much like the massive infantry combat, you're going to find yourself in a bunch of different tactical situations, so we built a bunch of vehicles to help you deal with those. To the right is the Flash, it's a one person transport, very fast, very agile, and the larger one in the back is the Sunderer, that holds an entire squad and is designed to get your troops to the front line safely. Each empire will have its own specific tank um, that's unique to that empire, and these are the main battle tanks, you can see all three of them here. The main thing to note here is their unique appearance and also their unique characteristics. They're all tweaked different to give a, a gameplay specific to that empire. So fire a little faster, move a little slower, have a little more armor. The same thing runs true with our aircraft. Each empire has an empire specific attack aircraft and they're all modded a little different, have different weapon systems to, to give them a unique feel. Again, these aircraft are very versatile. They can attack air to air, also air to ground. We have a couple of common pool aircraft. The first one we'll look at is the one to the forefront. That's the Liberator. It's a gunship and bomber. And the one to the back, the giant back there, is the Galaxy. Uh, it's iconic from the first game. It holds two full squads of players and is also a mobile spawn point. And here's a quick run through of some of our vehicle customizations. Again, uh, it's all about versatility. You can be something silly, you can get attachments for your vehicle, different skins, or be something a little more hardcore that allows you to blend into the environment like these desert camos you see on those two vanguards. Limitless customization, well obviously it's not really limitless, but it's pretty close. There are literally thousands of things you can adjust from your character's appearance to different gameplay mechanics. Um, you can mod just about anything on your character. And the way we do that is as you play the game you level up. And as you level up you get certifications. And these certifications can be used to purchase all your different customizations. So if you want your gun to fire a little faster you can mod that. If you want it to shoot a little further you can mod that. Uh, if you want uh, different camo patterns you can also grab that. And we also have very deep uh, progression and customization paths for your vehicles. So in this case, this guy's modifying his lightning to make it turn a little better and have a higher end top speed. 
unprecedented team play. Well, as you can imagine, the massive storm of chaos that's thousands of players fighting on the same continent. We wanted to give you some solid team tools to stay together as a cohesive unit. So we've built a 10-man squad, uh, which the squad leader can actually give assignments to his team to keep them on target. You can coordinate uniforms to be the elite zebra squad here if that's what you want to do. Um, three squads can form up to a platoon, so you can have up to 30 players on the same mission attacking the same target, all organized together. We also have a more permanent grouping. Um, we call that outfits. In other MMOs, it's called guilds. Uh, but it's a permanent group of friends that uh, team up and take down the enemy together. Now beyond the game, we've worked really hard to incorporate a bunch of different features to sort of build an ecosystem to keep you connected with what's going on in the game without you actually having to be in the game. And the first thing we'll take a look at is our player website. It's got very deep uh, stat tracking. You can, mod you can really track just about anything on your character. Anything that you've ever done will be tracked here real time. So you can check how you perform with a weapon before and after you modded it. You can compare yourself to your friends or any other player in the game to see how well you're doing comparatively. Uh, one thing that is unique on our stat site that you won't see in other games is because we are a persistent world, um, you can actually go to the planet status tab and take a look at what's going on on your home server at that time. You can see who's online, who owns what territory, and basically what's going on in the game. We'll also have a couple of apps coming out for iOS and Android devices. The app does just about everything the website does. It allows you to go in and really dig deep into the stats and, and do comparative analysis on anything you'd like to take a look at. Um, but one thing it has that's unique that I really like is it has a voice modification in there so you can actually dial into the VOIP that's built into the game and talk to your friends live through your phone. And I think that's really neat. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and I'll see you on a rest.